Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. It's good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to determine the firing order of a given engine. The firing order of an internal combustion engine is the sequence of ignition of the cylinders. So now, assuming that the proper firing order of a given engine is unknown, how do we determine the firing order of a given engine? In this video, we are going to have a look at. We will see one diesel engine and one gasoline engine and, as an example. In order to identify the firing order of a given engine, mark either the intake or the exhaust valve for ease of identification. Here, for example, in this diesel engine, we are marking the exhaust valves. Now, once all the exhaust valves are marked, we will start rotating the engine in the normal direction of rotation so that we can see which engine exhausts after which cylinder. The exhaust valves are marked now. Now we are going to rotate the engine in the normal direction of rotation. Make sure that always when you are trying to find firing order, make sure you rotate the engine in the proper direction of rotation. Now we are turning the engine crankshaft in its correct direction of rotation. We will find the time where cylinder number one starts firing. Right now, for example, cylinder number one is on exhaust. Then we keep on rotating the engine in the normal direction of rotation, looking at which cylinder is going to have exhaust next. Because the exhaust cam lobes are marked, now it will be easy to identify which one is the next one. For example, here, number one is followed by cylinder number four. Then keep on rotating the engine in its normal direction of rotation until all the cylinders are undergoing exhaust stroke so that you can see the sequence. Now one and four are identified. The next cylinder that is undergoing exhaust where the exhaust valve is fully opened as you can see from this is cylinder number two. So now we have gone halfway. We have identified cylinder number one is followed by cylinder number four. Four is followed by cylinder number two. Keep on turning the engine crankshaft until you find which cylinder comes next. See, now cylinder number six, exhaust valve is fully opened. And that is followed by cylinder number three. Now the remaining cylinder is known, that is cylinder number 5. So by this mechanism, we have identified the firing order for this 6-cylinder 1HZ diesel engine. Looking at the exhaust valve, we have determined that the firing order is 142635. This is a very simple example. Now you can do this method not only for diesel engine, you can also do this for a gasoline engine. Now in this Toyota 3K engine, we will see the firing order of this engine by looking at the intake valve opening sequence. Let's mark the intake valve. The intake valve is the one that is directly in front of the intake manifold. See, now here we are marking the intake valves with a red marker for ease of identification when, if, when we start rotating the engine. Now marking is completed. Let's begin rotating the engine in its, direct, in its proper direction of rotation until cylinder number one intake valve is opened. Now, as you can see, cylinder number one has undergone the intake stroke. Intake valve is opened and, and now it is closing. Then we will see which one is following cylinder number one. As you can see from this video, you can see that cylinder number one is being followed by cylinder number three. Keep on rotating the engine crankshaft in the normal direction of rotation to identify which comes next. See, cylinder number four. One, three, four and finally the remaining cylinder is obvious that is cylinder number two by the way one three four two is a very common firing order for four cylinder engines so by this mechanism you can identify firing order of a given engine
So this gasoline engine, it is a Toyota 3K gasoline engine. Firing order is identified by looking at the opening sequence of the intake valve. If you do this same principle by applying the exhaust valve, by following the sequence at which the exhaust valve opens, the firing order will remain the same. So this way you can identify the firing order of a given engine. Now in order to adjust the ignition timing, ignition timing is adjusted by following cylinder number one and then once the ignition for cylinder number one spark is provided, you will distribute the high tension cable from the distributor based on the firing order that we have previously determined. For example, now rotor, force, rotor is pointing to the direction of cylinder number one's tower. We will supply this high tension power from the distributor tower to cylinder number one. Then following the direction of rotation of the rotor, and following the firing order that we have previously determined, we will connect the high tension cable. Now cylinder number one is connected. It will be followed by cylinder number three. So spark will be provided in that sequence. This is to be followed by cylinder number four. We'll connect the spark plug cable for cylinder number four. And finally, we will connect the remaining high tension tower to cylinder number two. So this way we have completed the firing order in installation. So the only thing that is remaining is checking the ignition timing, static ignition timing adjustment and starting the engine after that. In a spark ignition engine or a petrol engine, the firing order corresponds to the order in which the spark plugs are operated. But when it comes to a diesel engine, the firing order corresponds to the order in which fuel is injected into each cylinder. Firing order affects the vibration, sound, and evenness of power output from the engine. Therefore, it is very crucial that the engine firing order must be maintained and proper ignition timing should be ensured so that the engine will have smooth operation. When it comes to multiple cylinder engines, firing order can also be defined as a sequence in which power is produced inside the cylinder. The power delivering sequence of each cylinder, which is set by the designer, such as the combustion of fuel in different cylinder occurs in a predefined order that can produce uninterrupted and maximum power output throughout the crankshaft operation. The firing order is different for different engine configurations. For example, firing order of two-cylinder V-shaped engine is different from firing order of a four-cylinder inline engine. Therefore, we need to identify what is the firing order of the given engine in order to make sure that all the parts are put together and the engine is running smoothly. Well, thank you for watching. It was good to have you here. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you have seen, please smash the like button and uh, turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you.